Hey Psych2Goers and welcome back to another video. Before we start, we'd like to give you a huge thanks for all of the love and support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology more accessible to everyone and you help us do that. Now, let's continue. Have you felt judged for wanting to spend a Friday night staying in with a good book instead of going out and partying with your friends? Unfortunately, it's not easy to just have these preferences and leave it at that. Introversion is considered weird to many and you can face a great deal of backlash if you happen to identify as such. Perhaps you're considered unattractive and cold to your peers for just being yourself. In this video, we're going to explore some of the stigma. What is introversion? You may have heard the saying, extroverts recharge their battery from being with others and introverts recharge their batteries from being alone. This refers to the idea that extroverted people need stimulation from other people. They enjoy being social and need to spend a lot of time out and about. Introverts, on the other hand, need less of this. They enjoy their own company and need much less social stimulation than their extroverted counterparts. While this creates the stigma of introverts being mysterious or weird, did you know that various estimations suggest that 25 to 40% of people identify as such? According to an article by Very Well Mind, that's a huge chunk of the population. While a higher number of introverts may report mental health struggles, introversion itself is not medically considered problematic or unusual. What negative stereotypes are associated with introversion? Introversion unfortunately comes with its share of stigma. If you're an introvert, perhaps you've been considered quiet, awkward, mysterious, or even weird. Therapist Sean Glover from Psychology Today explains that many experience introvert shaming. This is where you can face open ridicule for your social preferences. If you experience this, you may have been forced into social situations against your will or have been openly called out for being different. Because of this, you can internalize these ideas and wonder, what's wrong with me? It's easy to feel like an outcast when everyone else seems to enjoy socialization and you prefer to be alone. But why is this? Therapist Sean Glover further gives a multitude of reasons as to why introvert shaming exists. On one hand, it can be a lack of understanding. People think you're being cold, uninviting, or think that you feel you're too good to talk to other people. Other times, it can be insecurity. They're intimidated by your quietness, feeling invalidated or rejected by you, which can cause them to lash out. Professor of psychiatry, Dr. Arnie Kozak, PhD, explains that many view introverts as failed extroverts. As our culture is dominated by extroversion and expects that you're one as well, which can lead to some problems when you don't operate that way. In short, the problem doesn't lie within you, but within how others view you. What are some cool things about being introverted? While being an introvert may come with a bit of controversy, there are numerous benefits that you should be aware of. Dr. Joan Pastor, PhD, a clinical psychologist, lists a few of these. She associates introversion with having better quality friendships over high quantity, higher imagination, better conflict management, and increased independence as some of the superpowers introverts have. If you're an introvert, you may find yourself being able to enjoy the small moments more. You enjoy the quiet and can take the time to get to know who you are. The time you spend alone can be used to gain insight on a topic you love or allow you to dive headfirst into a passion project. Whatever the case may be, there's nothing wrong with being an introvert. Being able to do things for yourself and by yourself are wonderful abilities to have. Perhaps you're doing all of this may in turn make you more attractive. While not everyone may understand you as an introvert, that doesn't mean you have to change who you are. In fact, you may find it extremely difficult to do so. Introversion isn't a bad thing and engaging in your social preferences can help you improve yourself and your well-being. Instead of living your life to meet the expectations of others, think about what you truly want. We hope you enjoyed this video and let us know what your thoughts are on this topic. Are you more of an introvert, an extrovert, or perhaps you're in between known as an ambivert? Remember to like the video and share it if you found it helpful. Subscribe to Psych2Go to keep up with our uploads. And remember, you matter.